Hello and welcome to the University of New Mexico. Today we're going to learn a little bit about the uh, university and the campus here. Just kind of explore, look around, and check out this beautiful campus. Behind me you see the uh, famous duck pond. I've done a couple of videos uh, with this. It's nice and relaxing. It's a beautiful centerpiece for this campus. Uh, but let's just uh, take a walk around and look at a couple of the uh, more prominent buildings and uh, just kind of look around and explore and enjoy it. Thank you for joining me. Let's go. Got quite a few ducks. Hey guys, you quacking away there? Now here is what's called Shoals Hall. You can kind of see the, the tower there. There's so many trees built up now, of course, kind of hard to see. See a little bit of the tower to the left there also. A little farther back but uh, you can see a little better and in this next picture you can see what it looked like uh, back then here we have a uh, Zimmerman library a beautiful uh, library full of many many resources been in there quite a few times myself and uh, this next picture here is a glimpse back at uh, what it looked like many, many years ago. Some interesting sculptures here. Got some nice chairs out here. I thought these metal like umbrellas are pretty interesting. Now the University of New Mexico was founded back in 1889 and uh, at this point uh, today it has about 700 acres and about 20,000 enrolled students and offers quite of uh, quite a lot of majors including uh, educational uh, health professions uh, including nursing uh, uh, medical degrees uh, everything from accounting to science, uh, uh, you name it, has, uh, has something to offer here. And we're going to continue just to look around. I know the first building that was built was uh, called Hodgen, and that's what I'm looking for. And it's amazing that's the first building that was made back in, uh, or built back in uh, 1892. So it's pretty interesting, the history. Uh, the campus being well over a hundred years old, I think is very interesting. So let's continue and check it out. I just love this old southwestern uh, architecture. I love that they've uh, kept it that style through the many years. Got what looks like an old balcony here. Just love that style. Well, let's sneak up on these folks and, and see what they're up to. Got a fellow here just kind of sitting there contemplating. We've got a young lady who looks very interested in the guy here that's uh, explaining the, the statue. I'm not sure what that is. Got a guy over here that's kind of dumbfounded. And another couple who's discussing the statue. It's wonderful. And we got a, a lady here that's she either doesn't know or gives up or I'm not sure. 
Over here we've got a very colorful uh, statue. Man and a woman. Looks like they're in the middle of a, uh, a dance. It's pretty cool. I love the way it's so shiny, smooth. I believe this is uh, what's called Pope Joy Hall. It's a theater and an art gallery, I believe. Okay, I do see Pope Joy on that on that little awning there. And of course, I believe they are closed due to the uh, current situation, unfortunately. It's quite a nice theater. I've been here a couple times. Saw a couple shows. The actual building here looks like it's the center for the arts. It looks like they have a parking structure right across here, so that would be nice and convenient uh, if you want to come down here when it opens uh, and see a play or a musical. Now, I did attend here many, many moons ago. Seems like a million years, maybe another couple lifetimes ago. For a short time, unfortunately, I wasn't able to continue my educational uh, career. But uh, I certainly remember... Uh, this hall right here. It's a large lecture hall. And I remember sitting out here with some brand new Ray-Bans. Cost me a fortune back in those days. And I just left them out here. That's funny how you remember things from many, many years ago. Don't think they'd still be here, do you? Now here's a wonderful little fountain. Some nice uh, sculptures all around it. And we've got a couple ducks. Mallard and another brown duck there. Taking advantage of the cool water on a fairly warm day. Nice and refreshing. Pretty cool structure here at one of the entrances off of Central Avenue. It's beautiful. Yes, we finally found it. We found Hodgen Hall, which is the alumni center. Looks like we've got some uh, luminarias that are going to go out. Quite a, a load of them, the white ones. Those are going to look pretty tonight. Big old U there. Now this was the first building here at the uh, university campus, built in 1892. That was a few years ago, absolutely beautiful. I'll show you some pictures of uh, what it looked like. Got some luminarias around the the wolf there. Actually, it's the uh, University of New Mexico or UNM Lobo. Yeah, Spanish for wolf. Major sports teams, uh, 
football and basketball, UNM Lobos. Here's a pretty cool structure right here. I'm going to step up in here, check it out. Just wonderful to imagine the start of such a large, uh, beautiful, lovely campus. Here's a look at the uh, backside. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, tree there. But to think over a hundred years ago, this was built and started uh, education for the central New Mexico. You've got the oldest building. You've got it next door to some modern uh, architecture. Now I know it looks like we're going into the woods here with these uh, beautiful pines. You can hear the birds singing. This is uh, actually on a pretty busy street uh, called uh, University and uh, Central. Very rarely see people back in here. But you certainly see it as you're driving by. I've never been up to this area. Here's a good shot of uh, this Lobo. Beautiful backdrop there. It's like it was a gift from the University of New Mexico Alumni Association, 100th anniversary, 1997. This is a good place as any to go ahead and end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the walk around. It's good exercise, beautiful spring day. May not be the, the most uh, expensive, uh, fanciest university, uh, but I know it's uh, in the top 50 or so of the most affordable and I think it's pretty nice. I think it's a nice campus if you want to come here and check it out sometime. Thank you for joining me today. Love to hear from you what you thought about it and now it's time to head home. Mm -hmm.